Connecting your Shopify store to your Facebook business manager so that you can run high converting ads like these doesn't have to be hard. In fact, I've got all the necessary steps collected right here in today's video. Join me inside so we can get your Shopify store ready to advertise on Facebook. Hi, I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional at Life Marketing. As more and more people start their own businesses and social networks and third-party platforms are making it easier than ever to set up and launch your own business, more people need help with Facebook. If you're one of the 4.4 million people who started a business in 2020, or one of the 500,000 people who started a business back in January, or someone who started a business since then, you need digital marketing in your life. If you don't have a Shopify store, but you want to learn all about Facebook ads, Check out our playlist on advertising on Facebook here. For all of my Shopify store owners, let's get started. First, let's talk about what Shopify is and why you should use it. Shopify is an e-commerce platform used by many small businesses to sell their products online. It's one of the more well-known established platforms and has partnered with Facebook to make it easy to integrate your Shopify shop to sell on social media. They also integrate well with a number of other marketing and business platforms. I won't be diving into too much strategy during this video. I am focused more on setup specifics. Let me know if you have specific topic requests in the comments and I'll get to those as soon as I can. You'll need to make sure you have a few things set up before you can start advertising your Shopify store on Facebook. You'll need the basic Shopify plan or higher, a Facebook business manager with a connected Facebook page and an ad account. Before I show you the steps for adding the pixel to your website, Here's a message about our new Facebook ads course. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. If you're interested in learning how to set up and manage your own ads from people who know what they're talking about, this course is for you. To integrate your Shopify page with your Facebook efforts, you'll want to set your Facebook up as a sales channel on Shopify. Let me show you how to do that. From your Shopify admin, click the plus next to sales channels. Click plus next to Facebook, and then click update sales channel to install the Facebook channel. You'll click start setup on the feature that you want to install first. Then click connect account. Sign into your Facebook account. Connect the Facebook assets that are required to set up the features that you want, like your Facebook page and your ad account. Accept the terms and conditions and click finish setup. After this step is complete, your products will start syncing with Facebook, making managing a catalog, Instagram shop, and Facebook shop much easier and less hands-on for you. To view the products that are available on the Facebook channel in your Shopify admin, click Facebook, then overview and view products. If you don't have any products in your store, then click add product to add products to your store. If you have products in your store but they aren't available to Facebook shop, then click make products available to go to the products page in your Shopify admin. Next, you'll click the name of the product that you want to make available in the Facebook channel. In the product availability section of the product details page, click Manage. In the Manage Sales Channels Availability dialog, check Facebook and then click Done. Now click Save. Now let's look at how to add your pixel to your Shopify site. Shopify partners with Facebook to make advertising really easy. Instead of copying and pasting code, you'll just grab your pixel ID from the Business Manager and paste it into the Facebook Pixel ID field. Before you can add the pixel, you have to enable customer data sharing according to Shopify. So I'll walk you through those steps and then the pixel steps. In your Shopify admin, click Facebook in the Sales Sales channel section. Click settings and then click data sharing settings. In the customer data sharing section, click the enable data sharing toggle. In the choose data sharing level section, select standard, enhanced, or maximum. Now you'll connect your pixel or select your pixel from the list if you've already added it. Click confirm. Now here's how to add or change a pixel if you need to do that in the future. From your Shopify admin, click online preferences. Select preferences, and in the Facebook pixels section, add or change the pixel. Then save changes. Let's talk a little bit about why your pixel matters. Now I'm sure that you know why pixels matter at this point, but just in case, here's a quick look at the events that the pixel tracks and what you can do with this information. Your your pixel is important in helping you track what users do on your website. This can help you learn about your audience, your product, and your website as a whole. After you integrate a Facebook pixel with your online store, the pixel automatically tracks the following events. The first is view content. This is when a visitor views a page on your website. The second is search. This is when a visitor makes a search on your website. The third is add to cart. 
You guessed it, a visitor has added a product to your shopping cart. The fourth is initiate checkout, when a visitor clicks the checkout button. The fifth is add payment info, when they've entered their payment information in the checkout. And the sixth is purchase, when a visitor completes a purchase and views a thank you page in the checkout. Now this information is tracked because it's essential to your marketing campaigns. This helps you show the most relevant ads to the right people at the right time. Here are a couple of ideas for using that information. Add to cart info is great to create an offer ad for 10% off and target to shoppers who added to cart but didn't purchase. Purchase information is great for upselling, cross-selling, or engaging with shoppers who made a purchase. They're more likely to shop again, provided you gave them an excellent product and service, which I know all of you watching always do. View content and search info can help you use dynamic retargeting ads to show shoppers the products that they viewed on your website. This requires setting up a catalog. You can learn more about using Facebook catalogs here. It's also helpful to watch your funnel and see where most of your traffic drops off. So this information is helpful for more than just running ads. Now remember that it's normal to see a large number of view content and search and a progressively smaller number of add to cart, initiate checkout, add payment info, and purchase in that order. However, anything outside the norm should raise an eyebrow. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is outside the norm, Morgan? Don't worry, I won't leave you with vague non-help. You know that I'm not about that life. Here's a good average that I like to keep in mind when running ads. Now, keep in mind that you will ultimately and ideally be using your own numbers to set your own standard because each company is different. But when you're starting, you have to work with averages and that's okay. The stat that I like to remember is the average add to cart rate is 5%. So if you see something below that, it's time to consider what isn't working about your product page and your checkout processes. But it is also important to remember that sometimes your business will fall below that and that will be normal for your business. That's why it's important to collect that data and analyze your ads instead of relying too much on averages or information and numbers that you can find online. The next thing you want to do to prepare to run ads on Facebook is verify your Shopify domain. Another step required by Facebook is domain verification. You can verify your top level domain. This is a domain that you've purchased, like for your business, lifemarketing.com for example. You can also verify a subdomain, but you'll need to use the full URL with a subdomain. For example, lifemarketing.myshopify.com. If you've been around domain verification for a while, you may be thinking, wait, a domain can only be claimed by one business. How can I verify a My Shopify subdomain when other stores use it too? That's a great thought process. Facebook created public domain lists for situations just like this because we did run into it when we were first verifying domains. MyShopify.com is on that public domain list, so you don't need to worry about anything other than including the extra information in your subdomain. Let me show you how to add a domain on Facebook. First, you'll navigate to the Facebook Business Manager and click Brand Safety. Then you'll click on Domains and click the blue Add button. Enter your domain and click Add Domain. You'll need to verify the site with meta tag information. Copy the tag and I'll show you how to paste it into your Shopify store. Now, go over to your Shopify store, log in and click on Admin. Navigate to Online Store, click Themes, choose the green Customize button, and choose Edit Code and paste your verification tags in the header section of your website. Now you'll need to go back to your Facebook Business Manager, and after you've made sure that the tag is properly installed, click Verify. If the tag checks out properly, then you're ready to start running ads on Facebook. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming marketing videos. Advertising your Shopify store on Facebook is going to help you reach new customers and increase your conversions. One of the nice things about running a Shopify store, aside from the perks of the platform for e-commerce, is the advertising partnership between Shopify and Facebook. As Facebook works to improve their advertising platform for small businesses, using partners like Shopify will bring more benefits like more features, easier to use features, and more automated options. Although Facebook is not favoring ads from people that have Shopify stores over people that have their own websites. Let us know what questions you have in the comments and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in an upcoming video. Happy marketing!